Pleased to be joined on set by C.J. O'Donnell. He is Chief Marketing Officer, Holman Motorsports. They are the parent company of IndyCar, which goes exclusively to NBC and NBC Sports in 2019, including the Indy 500. C.J., thank you very much for joining us here on CNBC. We're excited to be part of the IndyCar family completely now. Yeah, it's all you now. We're really pleased that the contract went through the beginning of the year, and we're eager to get started. Fantastic. Okay, first things first, before we get started, um, Sunday's race at Pocono had a bad, bad wreck. Robert Wickens. Awake and alert, which is the good news. We know injured, was medevac out. Do you have any update on his condition? No update today. They're still doing further evaluation. He's undergoing care in the Lehigh Valley Medical Center. Um, you know, we're obviously, our thoughts uh, are with he and his family today as he's recovering and undergoing all, all that care. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a good testament, I think, to the safety of our, our sport that he's with us now. And uh, we're hoping to see him back in the car very soon. I, I think that's it. You know, and, and it, one of the reasons it's showing the video is because he survived. And, and I think that 10 years ago, 15 years ago, may have been a different story. The safer barriers, the what they call the survival tub of the race cars, all those things have done their job. And there's a hard balance, is there not? The fans want action and speed. They don't want to see anybody get hurt, but there has to be that element of risk to make the sport grow. Well, it's our job as part of the series and the league to you know, improve safety over time, and we've done just that. And I think that's a testament yesterday to just all the strides that have happened mm. in the last 10 years. So the Delara has engineered the tub of the car and the, you know, the, the cockpit yeah. for the driver so it's much safer, and that, that held up. The, the catch fencing yes, worked yesterday. Uh, the AMR safety crew that was on site that you know, extricated the driver from, from the car did their job. And, of course, then the doctors are doing what they need to do today. So it's all uh, a lot of planning uh, that worked well. And, again, hope Good. I'm sure he's got a long road, but we are rooting for Robert Wicken. Certainly, if he's out there or watching somehow sees this, best thoughts to you and your family. Get real quick. Well, he's an amazing driver. That guy's come on yeah. like a rookie. Anyway, let's get back to the business. R listen, ratings are up. Business seems pretty good. To what do you attribute the positive momentum that we're seeing with IndyCar right now? When, when many other motorsports are seeing declining ratings. Yes, there's obviously a lot of headwinds in sports, a lot of headwinds in motorsport, and we've been defying those trends by, by showing growth in the last four years or more. And it's really an you know, attribution to a new management team with a committed uh, you know, plan that's deliberate, purposeful, and has shown uh, consistent growth each year. And what does that mean for the sport? You, you've got a lot of mixes. You've got the you know, road course races, of course, Long Beach Grand Prix. You've got small tracks like Iowa. Then you've got the Big Daddy, right? You've got the Indy 500. 500 right? What's a good mix for the sport? How is it going to – is it going to evolve in a big way or is it going to just kind of continue to evolve slowly, changing tracks here and there? No, actually, ours has been one more of consistency. Uh, a good balanced season for us is about a third road course, is a third street, and a third oval including super speedways like Indianapolis. And that balance, that diversity is what challenges our drivers to be their very best, makes the champion probably one of the finest drivers in the world. Yeah. It's like you got Carpenter on the ovals, then, but he doesn't like the road courses, so they bring in, you know, it's... it's, no, you, it's you've got to be good at all three. You have to be good. And I think the, it's funny because the product, and I know the Formula One fans out there, because this you know, worldwide exchange goes around the world, right. are going to find this to be an erroneous statement. But IndyCar is a better racing viewing product. Formula One may be sexier, more money, but the product on the track, the passing, everything is better with, with IndyCar. Well, that's, that's the secret of part of our success is the product on track itself. I mean, the, the, the passing, the, the lack of, uh, well, the unpredictability of each weekend and who's going to win. It's just about any team in the paddock can put a car up front and win the race at the end of the day. And that's, that's what makes sports so interesting. That's what makes people tune in. That's what's helped bring people back to IndyCar. And for years, especially after the financial crisis, we did a lot of stuff on, on CNBC about the money it takes to put one of these teams on. It's a lot. Guys like Penske, Ganassi, Andretti Autosport, they're going to get the sponsors. You know, you need to make sure that there's money to go around to everybody. I know the series is looking for a title sponsor. What's the pitch? How do you sell the series to the uninitiated or the casual fan or company that thinks maybe their logo would look good on that car or the series? Well, there's a lot of ways. You've got, obviously, consumer companies and then B2B. From the B2B to perspective, access and the ability to allow their partners to come to a track and have an unprecedented experience with the sport is certainly there. I mean, you've been to a race. You know how close you can get to the drivers. It's like being on the 50-yard line with Brady before they actually you know, flip yeah, the coin. It's the it's speeds, by the way, are also incredible. If they haven't been to a race, it's, it's at Indy 500. It was like, even as a part-time racer, I was terrified. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you die, die really quick. Yeah. So that, that's right there. And then for, you know, for consumer companies who are looking to reach out to fans, certainly the awareness that it brings to a brand, but the ability for a company like a technology company or an automotive company to actually activate within the sport 
and prove the, the quality of their product or the technology that they have in real time with us as we yeah. partner with them is outstanding. And we've seen, we've seen that with Verizon and we're hoping to see that again with our next partner. I can't wait to see uh, all the races next year on NBC and NBC Sports. Welcome, not welcome to the family, CJ, because you've been in the family, but now we have the whole IndyCar. You've got it from not the just very bits. first race to the very end, and we're going to be committed to making it grow Including together. the Indy 500. Can't wait. CJ O'Donnell, Chief Marketing Officer, Holman Motorsports, parent company of IndyCar. It's going to be a good next year, I think. Thank it's you very much, CJ. Appreciate it.